What's up, you two buzz? Some gal uh, mentioned that I was making a lot of money on YouTube, that I should get my nose fixed. I guess it's had a few fights in my life, but got a broken nose a couple times, so <laughs> I apologize if that offends anyone. Uh, today we're going to try, somebody asked me if the super glue baking soda trick would work on fiberglass. So here we go. Again, I've learned that beveling it so you can put stuff in there, you know, makes it harder, gives it a better bond, all that. Again, I cleaned this up on the wire wheel before I started. It's much easier to do that than emery cloth it. It's pretty hard, just like steel, you know. So we'll, uh, we'll get to her. If you can uh, put up with my crooked nose. <laughs> okay, I think what I'm gonna do to start is put some super glue or put some baking soda in the groove and put some bacon or <laughs> uh, it's too early in the morning I'm gonna put it in the groove take away the access and screw it all up how's that okay this video is starting out really good <laughs> okay, how about if we hold it together and run it across? How's that? That looks pretty good. Let's see if my super glue's hard yet. Nope. Come on. And like I said on the other ones too, um, the farther you go back when you grind these areas on both sides, the bevel helps significantly too. But uh, the bevel just gives it more to grip to, you know, per se. Now let's just put a little Baking soda on top. Let her sit for a second. That was a, a lot of super glue. So I think, it, you know, I said it bonds in like five seconds and it does. But when you get a little bit thicker applications here, I like to give it a you know, a couple more seconds. Look at how nice that took. Got a few spots I can fill, but first off, I just want to do the other side. I think we'll do the same thing. We'll put it down in there. So there's a little bit of a opening on this side too. Because when I put the super glue down, I put the super glue down on here, it's, it goes back. So I throw baking soda back on top of it. And it uh, covers anyway, so I hope I don't run out of glue here. Now see, I make sure I go back. To where I grinded so we can throw you know baking soda right on top again not only will it seal that line we did but it will uh, take care of the rest of that I'm gonna do a video on uh, to simulate a radiator, I went and got a aluminum little pot at the Salvation Army. I'm gonna drill a couple holes in it, clean it up real good, and do the baking soda super good trick. And when it's dry, I'm gonna fill it above that point with water and I'm gonna sit with a torch and heat it up 
you know, the simulator radiator, uh, aluminum radiator again, and put my thermometer on there, my digital uh, thermometer, and see how hot we can get it, and if the super glue melts or not. That's going to be my one of my next videos here. So then, I'm sure if you do an uh, uh, aluminum radiator, that this will hold just fine to the aluminum. I know it will because I did a video on thick aluminum. I'm, I know it'll hold well. It's just well. Uh, Look at that. You know, and again, like I've said on all the other ones, when this is done like this, if this is something that you're going to look at and see and you're, you just don't want it white and sloppy or whatever like this, it's going to all be sanded, you know, primered, painted, whatever. It's, it's all, be all good to go. But this is a... <clears throat> well, I'd say it, it holds fairly well. I didn't do the sides. I didn't refill a few of the little spots, but just to answer the question, how does super glue baking soda work with fiberglass? Very well, very strong. I can't break it. I couldn't break the aluminum when I did it either. But uh, there you go. Baking soda. Super glue, plain old super glue, plain old baking soda. How does it work on fiberglass? I'd say it works tits, man. Bob's Lawn Service and Plowing. I'm out.